pumps, it is the intermeshing of the threads on the rotors and the close fit of the surrounding housing that creates one or more sets of moving seals in a series between the pump inlet and outlet. These sets of seals or locks, as they are sometimes referred to, act as a labyrinth and provide the screw pump with its positive pressure capability. The successive sets of seals form fully enclosed cavities that move continuously from inlet to outlet. These cavities trap liquid at the inlet and carry it along to the outlet providing a smooth flow. The pump is so named because it has two gears that are side by side or external to each other. A drive gear that is driven by a motor rotates an idler gear in the opposite direction. When the gears rotate, the liquid which is trapped in the gear teeth spaces between the housing bow and the outside of the gears is transferred from the inlet side of the pump to the outlet side of the pump. The meshing of the gears on the discharge side of the pump forces the liquid out of the pump and into the discharge piping. The lobe pump receives its name from the rounded shape of the rotor radial surfaces that permits the rotors to be continuously in contact with each other as they rotate. Lobe pumps can be either single or multiple lobe pumps and carry fluid between their rotor lobes much in the same way as a gear pump does. Unlike gear pumps, however, neither the number of lobes nor their shape permits one rotor to drive the other and so all true low pumps require timing gears. Vane pump includes a rotating cylinder containing equally spaced radial pistons arranged radially around the cylinder center line. A spring pushes the pistons against the inner surface of an encircling stationary ring mounted eccentric to the cylinder. The pistons draw in fluid during half a revolution and drive fluid out during the other half. The greater the ring eccentricity is, the longer the piston stroke and more fluid they transfer. Applications of rotary pumps are Gear pumps handle more viscous fluids. The sliding vein pump suits both viscous and non-viscous fluids. Sliding vein pumps cannot handle dirty or gritty liquids. Vein pumps are ideally suited for low viscosity, non-lubricating liquids. Sliding vein pumps are used for vacuum services. Low pumps are used for food and beverage processing. Low pumps can handle both low and high viscosity fluids.